is rich with history that dates back centuries, and in many cases, what's old is new again as buildings are transformed into modern work areas. That's right, and in some cases, that leads to unlikely pairings like a brew house in a church and ghosts and beer. Hmm. But photojournalist Alex Atwell takes a, a uniquely Detroit look at the mashup. Okay, what was that? Did you guys hear that? Like something moved back there. When you are a child, you're taught ghosts aren't real, monsters aren't real. How many spirits are with us tonight in this building? And you naturally tune that out. Who's back here? Um, I think when you're more open to it is when people can have those experiences. Somebody back here? Uh, there are some people who have definitely had some experiences here. We have a few bartenders that refuse to go down to the basement by themselves. Downstairs. Do you want to go to the basement? Do you want us to go in the basement? In the basement is a little creepy. Did you attend this church? We're in God's house. This location is very unique. So this is a brewery that sits in an old church. This church, I believe, was opened in 1936. We're at Atwater in the Park in Gross Point Park, Michigan, former home of Grace United Church of Christ. We're right on the altar here. Jesus is right behind there, standing in the stained glass, saying, here's your brew house. It's pretty in here. It's, it's a little, like, beautifully eerie. But we need to make sure we have enough for three batches. I love making beer, yes. Uh, so the, the beer is boiled, now we're doing the whirlpool, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the sage here. The creative aspect of making the beer is the best part. Sage stays on! Yeah, so it, it was a kind of a unique thing, ghosts and beer. Ready? Go. So what we're doing is Detroit Paranormal Expeditions reached out because they were interested in making a beer and I said, hey, why don't you guys come set up some cameras because some people have had some experiences here. And we're working with Atwater to make Detroit's first paranormal themed beer. They said, let's make a Sage Saison and I said, yeah, that's perfect. And the fact that sage is used in the paranormal field. Smudging mediums would use it to cleanse places. That's so cool. That's so cool. Sage is also sometimes used in beer, and so having the sage in here has kind of got like a dual purpose. This beer will be in the fermenter in an hour and 10 minutes. I think it's a good opportunity to uh, create a beer that's kind of paranormal themed. People can have one, they can share their experiences with each other, and then you get more conversation about the paranormal world. Do you like beer? What do you think about our Sage Saison? Does that sound like a beer you'd like to try? Mm -hmm. Sounds, sounds good is what I thought it sounded. <laughs> Absolutely, ghosts are definitely real. I guess I could leave a little bucket out for them at night. <laughs> this is why I make beer, for the creative fun aspect of it. Joining us now in studio live, Jeff Adkins with Detroit Paranormal Expeditions and Brad Etheridge, an Atwater Brewer. Thank you gentlemen for being here. Thank, Thank you for having us. Yeah. So I heard that. I heard that. You heard the clip. I heard it. Yep, that's through our. That was crazy. It's through our geo box. We hear a lot of spirit voices coming through there. That the person wasn't there. That was a disembodied voice you picked up. Uh, so disembodied voice would have been heard in the moment with no equipment. So mm. that was through something that we use. It's called the geo box. So it scans radio stations really quickly, like a hundred stations per minute. You're only mm -hmm. getting a little tiny piece of each one, a fraction of a second, and sometimes full sentences will come through there. So you shouldn't get any full sentence from a radio station. Crazy. All right, so you brought in the Sage Saison. Did I say that right? Yes. So when is this going to be in stores? Uh, it's So this is a small batch that we did at our Gross Point Park location. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a release party for it this Friday the 13th. Uh, so oh, right, now, that's cool. right now it's just a one-off, uh, a small four-barrel batch, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Cool. Why so, did you want to do it? Yeah. We reached out to Atwater because Atwater is a company that we really like, um, we really respect them, and we we love their products, so we wanted to do a paranormal themed beer that people could just have a beer together and talk about the paranormal experiences that they've had. Sure, and then the sage will keep away anything that you don't You're right, dual purpose. <laughs> all of these are the same beer? It's all the same, yeah. It's the, the sage saison that we did with the Paranormal Expeditions crew. So let me tell you a little bit about it first. So. Okay. Uh, what I did is I used a wild Belgian strain. A Saison is a French-speaking uh, French Belgian farmhouse ale. Well, it's not French-speaking, but the, it comes from the French-speaking region of Belgium. Uh, so they used a lot of wild yeast. So what I used is a wild yeast in this that kind of gives it almost a tropical aspect, which is kind of different than, than your normal Saison, which is more earthy. So you've got this, mm. this earthiness from the sage, but also a nice, like, 
almost mango pineapple taste coming through Ooh. it. So it's actually uh, going to be quite a refreshing, nice summer beer, I believe. All right, so when our photographer Alex was there, mm -hmm. his camera obviously going, and did we capture something paranormal? He did, did, he did, and that's extremely rare. I mean, compelling video evidence is very hey, rare to find. Video. Let's lose the banner, because this, this so happens this at the bottom of the screen. So this white thing shoots up, oh. and then right before it disappears on camera, it looks almost like wings spread out. So we've shared this clip with several psychics that we know, respect, and have worked with, and all of them have said positive things about it. Um, several have said they feel it's angelic, um, one has said they feel it's a spirit that's protective of the building, mm -hmm. um, but a really, really incredible clip and um, really thankful that Alex was able to catch that. Not a, not a lens flare? Not a... <laughs> well, you know, I mean, Alex has been doing this for a long time. Um, I would definitely defer to him and his expertise on that, but uh, mm -hmm. there was no light inside that um, room, so I'm really not sure where that would have came from if it were. It's the wow. way that it evaporates in the thin air that's the, the exactly. creepy part. And it's how solid it is when it comes into the frame. Um, I mean, we had a static camera in that room almost from that same angle um, that ran for nearly four hours. We watched every minute of it. I thought maybe it was a bat or something, right. but we would have probably seen it. You know, I mean, we had right. the whole room captured on camera, never saw anything flying around. And we don't have bats. And you don't have bats. No okay. Bats <laughs> well, let's, let's try this. At least. All right. I know. All right. Well, you want to take a little one? Yeah. Right. Cheers. 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 Fellas. It's got a huge sage aroma. Ooh, it smells nice. It's good. Excellent. Good stuff. Very this tasty. This is going to be a very good, good beer garden beer. This is really, like really good. Yeah. And then the sage mm -hmm. lingers at the end there. I'm into it. If it ever warms up outside, um, I know, we'll right? Enjoy this <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. good stuff. I mean, it's it's really time. good. Okay, so where can somebody learn about Paranormal Expeditions? Um, so you can check us out on our website, DetroitParanormalExpeditions.com. Um, our social media links are right on the top of the page. We're on most social media channels, so look us up. Pour. Uh, give us the location one more time. Um, so we're going to be pouring this beer at Atwater in the Park, which is in Gross Point Park. Okay. Um, I will, after our release, I'll send a keg of it downtown, so we'll have it there too at, the, at our main brewery. Nice. Um, and we're also sending it to the World Expo of Beer in Flint. It's a beer festival that's coming up soon. Or not Flint, uh, Flankenmuth. So Frank that'll be very soon. That's awesome. Well, the beer is delicious. I like the sage aspect. Keep away spirits and yep. enjoy yourself. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank